Hello everyone, I'm Neverdot. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be learning about how to make banners, tablecloths, and really just make your convention booth look like it's a game. Let's find out how to do it. When I was going to Ottawa Comic Con, it was our first booth and I needed something for the display. So I wanted banners because I wanted something freestanding because I knew I couldn't attach anything to the walls. There weren't any such walls. And also I just wanted to be able to have the freedom of moving it around. And more, I wanted to present my brand primarily. So I wanted a very dominant vertical display like this for my booth. In addition to the booth banner, I also needed something to cover the table. Every table would just have a typical tablecloth that's quite common in cons. Most people just have your generic black tablecloth or something maybe draped around the front, a little sign or something. I wanted something a bit more impactful and a bit more noteworthy. So I went for the full printed Never Dot tablecloth, which was fantastic and I'm really happy. I mean, if you look at it here, it covers the entire surface of the tablecloth with imagery. It reinforces my brand, whether you're close to it or far away, you can see my artwork all over it. And it was just perfectly printed, perfectly fitting this table. It is for an eight foot table. You can get different sizes, but usually it's six or eight feet. And yeah, I really, really love this tablecloth. I think it really made my booth stand out even much more than the banners. When I was thinking about how to design the booth, I broke out Illustrator and I designed the booth setup in Illustrator so I could start to play around with the different banner sizes and whatnot. I was talking to different producers of the banners and getting different sizes. They have a lot of broad banners, a little narrow banners, so what would be best for my display? Now I was thinking you could have a large wide banner right at the back, just shattering your image across everything but also the negative of having a single banner way at the back is that people coming up to your booth won't see it until they're right in front of it i wanted two banners angled oppositely so that people coming from either side would be able to see it and i do have another banner here the banners come in these nice carrying bags and then they've got this sort of nice foot stand thing it's quite sturdy and it's about yay tall they booth set up pretty easily. You do have to be careful not to jam the things when you put them back in. They sort of roll up like wrapping paper, so you don't want to catch that and rip it. These are the two banners that I printed. I chose a narrower size so that I could actually fit in my booth, and I could keep them at about a 45 degree angle, as you see in my little plan. Now, there is a bit more artwork down below that you can't see. Well, here you go. There they are. There they are. Um, the key point that I wanted to make sure is that these were behind the table, so I needed to make sure that no key artwork was down there. I'm not going to put my social media down there because it's going to get cut off by the table. In fact, I didn't put my social media in here because I was afraid of it changing, and I want to use these banners for more than just a con. I might do, say, book readings in libraries or schools. Who knows? A key aspect of these banners is that I don't lay any critical artwork or information below the level of the table because I did have these banners behind my table and the table is about 76 centimeters tall, 30 inches high. So I didn't want anything lost down there, but I still didn't want to waste that space. In future, I might use these banners for a show that I might have independently where I could put them beside the table where people could see it better. Now, similarly with the tablecloth, the tablecloth, when I was choosing it, I had an option of a four-sided tablecloth or a three-sided tablecloth. A four-sided tablecloth is your normal tablecloth. Of course, it's more expensive because you're printing on all the sides. And it is more expensive. There is more tablecloth to print on. You might think that's the best option. But at a con environment, you're sitting behind that table. And you might have your supplies behind it and you might need to access it. The three-sided tablecloth, and I didn't even know this was an option, sounded like the best idea because it sort of cuts off that back layer of the tablecloth which leaves your table on your side open easy to access things like your cash box if that's where you've got it stowed away so i thought the three-sided tablecloth was the better option for cons particularly now when designing the tablecloth you do have the full scope of the tablecloth depending on your vendor choose one of the ones that do full tablecloth surface printing now the corners as you can see they are fully printable you can put all your artwork there on the corners there's a lot of space there but realistically there's no space there the corners will fold up on themselves to a point and you will lose everything in that corner so don't put any any artwork in there 
even a little bit. It's not going to look good. I did continue my pattern through there, but I wasn't going to put any characters because they would just get wrinkled up and disappear. It's not worth it. Definitely I did fill the sides because, again, you're not going to see the sides at a con, but you might see the sides if you're independently exhibiting. Now my tablecloth, right here. This is how big it is packed up, but it covers an entire eight foot table. Now this is the tablecloth and I am really happy with the quality of the print. I mean, the colors are incredibly vibrant and really they match up with the banner perfectly color wise. Now this material is a little bit thinner, so maybe less durable, but for this kind of a show, you're just covering your table and you're putting your materials on it. It doesn't really need to be that kind of durable that you're doing a picnic on. Um, so I was quite happy with this and I don't mind the thinner material if it means saving twice the price. So the corners at the back are cut like this because this is the three-sided tablecloth. So it's just gonna fold like that. And you have a very short back. Design, I wanted the front to be the presentation piece. So I put the main branding right there on the front side. Uh, the two left and right sides, of course, had a bit of artwork for people coming up on the sides in the event that I'm ever in an environment where you can actually see that. Again, at a con, you cannot, typically. Now on the center, I wanted to keep it simple. I did not want that to be busy because I knew most of the table surface would be covered by my product. So I just laid my main logo large and in charge right at the center. When designing these banners, I wanted to keep it simple. I knew I only had one to two seconds to catch people's interest before they pass by, especially since I'm a new property, not something people are already familiar with. It'll take them slightly longer to mentally accept and process what they're seeing. It's not Spider-Man. I needed to keep the information low, so there isn't a lot of text on here. There's no social media information. People can look at it, catch the characters, move along. Or they can decide that it's interesting and then come to the booth and start asking some questions. I certainly don't have complicated backgrounds. The white space here is just it's yellow space, but it's not complicated and it's not distracting from the main characters in front. They really do pop with a high level of contrast and color vibrancy. I am really happy with having the two banners because that allowed me to cover traffic going in both directions with the 45 degree angles at each end of the table. If I really wanted to, I could have even put the banners halfway down because you can control how high they go and I could have put them right on top of my table as well if I really wanted to do that. Uh, the artwork was designed for that to work. Now also, if I had more products on my table and they would block the banner, then I could just take a banner away, move the other one around to the best positioning and it would be fine. And also I am most happy with the tablecloth because this thing drew a lot of attention. People were often looking down at the tablecloth reading the name of the company and it did catch a lot of people's eyes because a lot of con goers don't dress up their booths much with the tablecloth. It's sort of an afterthought and you will stand out quite a lot if yours is fully covered like this and covered with your branding and your design. I hope this video has helped you learn whether you need a banner or a tablecloth. And for the tablecloth, the answer is definitely yes, you need a tablecloth. It helps your booth stand out so much. Now, all of these things will help you look much more professional and it'll help you look like you're a serious contender at the show, a real company. So until next time, see ya. The color matching on this is really good. You can hardly see me. If you like this video about banners and booth display, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will be doing another video about what I did on the surface of the table for that, displaying products. Uh, so do subscribe and also check out my website, neverdot.com. I've always got new stuff. See you next time. <laughs>